<clears throat> Alright, what's up guys? Welcome back to Small Kingdoms of Emily. <clears throat> and apparently, I think we are almost done with this game. We got like a few quests left. So, without farther, I can't fast travel from here. So, without further ado, let's get this, this thing on the road. <clears throat> Into the shuttle. You. My fan is. What the? My fan is very loud today. I don't know if you guys can can hear it, but it is. Actually, that's fine because it's always kind of what quiet in the background of my videos, but it's pretty loud today, so you guys might hear it more than than usual. So I, told, I know I told you guys before, but um, I replaced my fan that I thought was being loud. And apparently it was not that fan that was being loud, it's my power supply. That's like really loud. So I can't really do anything about that unless I get a new power supply. Ow! kind of sucks but it is cooler now which is good replacing the, the fan but that's that's for a different that's a different time for a different story I guess yeah ah let me look at some really cool yuck we have a lot of this stuff. Shadow prison, what the hell is that? Timed explosion. I should probably buy some more healing potions. That would be great. Yo. Essence of fate. Oh. Wow. They said one guy after me. The hunter runs. The Not hunter very runs. smart. Swiftly, swiftly for our lives. A mortal skirt of chain. A mesh of links forged in secret. The hunter runs. The hunter runs. In the tosses. What the heck? Way to slowly fade in there, brother. I don't know why that was like some huge thing coming to kill me. I face bigger things than him. Those big tyrant guys, those guys are a lot worse than that guy. Look at my new shield though. Pretty fancy schmancy. Uh, that doesn't look like it'll get me where I need to go. Now, how am I supposed to get over... Uh-oh. I'm not supposed to be here. Crap. Ow! Yo! Got some mad hops. Crap. Back off. Ow! God dang it. Screw off, man. Whew. Ooh, silk hand wraps. Silk hand wraps. I'll equip those. Ooh. 
Like nothing important. Awesome. How am I supposed to get down below? That's what I want to know. Oh, so that way is is how I get over there. Swell, yo, bro, ho, do. Like the gilded ghosts of youth, the curving plates of fae-like scrolls decorate the life scar of this imposter. It says, "I am like you, fae spirit," and shimmers with a brilliant gleam. This queeras of the fae hunter. Oh wait, give me one second. He. <coughs> All right, I'm back. Had to go take care of some things with some important, monumental people. Nope, not getting near me! Bloop. It does. Uh, awesome. I didn't even get hurt. Go suck a mud. Go suck a mud. Ew. What? Did you hear that? Sup? How can one hold on? Someone's coming. Who? By the gods, it was horrible. He killed them all, and nothing could stop him. Who did? It was Dren, that freak who guards the House of Pride. He told us to leave, but we thought we could beat him. Stupid. He's just one Fey, and not even a Tuatha. But nothing hurt him, and he slaughtered us all. The worst thing was, he seemed sorry to kill us. Oh, uh, I can defeat him. We thought so too. We were wrong. Yeah, but I'm a badass. <laughs> Damn it! I told them not to try anything until we arrived. Stay back. I have a plan. This wouldn't be related to Aelin and her friend coming down that road, would it? No, actually, it wouldn't. If you were anyone else, I'd try to stop you. As it is, I'll just wish you good luck. This can't end here. Talk to Ventrineo. Not you. Sometimes one soldier can do what an entire army can. God, you taking forever to walk over here. You haven't tried approaching, have you? No, of course not. You're still alive. This took a little longer to find than I had hoped, but it should be exactly what you need. Uh, tell me what it is. Dren had a twin in the summer court. Dith, the defender of valor. They were both entirely immune to each other. I don't care about the backstory, bro. Just tell she me. She faded when the House of Valor fell. But my early experiments with the Well of Souls provided a quite useful little surprise. You see, when trying to draw life energy from the ether, I captured her essence and bound it into this charm. With this, you will be immune to Dren's power. You stole her soul? Now be fair. They don't have souls as mortals do. They are a form of magic with a physical form. And I only got a little of it anyway. Just enough for a certain degree of immunity to Dren's power. It only works for one person. But it'll be enough for you to reach him. Trouble is, he'll be immune to your power as well. But I'm sure you can think of something. All right. Now, let me put this on. Is it an item? Oh, it is. Dang it, they need, they need one more thing for me. One <laughs> second. Okay, I'm back now. And now, there should be absolutely zero interruptions because the last two interruptions have been very, very strange. But, um, we should be good now. So let's do this thing. Turn so. back or die. Uh, I'm not leaving. Then you shall die like the others before you. I made an oath to protect my house and my homeland. No power short of death can keep me from fulfilling my duties. Uh, I mean you no harm. I know your intentions are to free my people from the Tuatha. You seem an honorable sort. You even bear the blessing of my sister. Mm -hmm. But I have sworn an oath to defend my house and homeland. I cannot let you in without a fight. And you cannot win against me. Yeah, I can. If only things could be different. If only the Tuatha were gone and my sister was back. It's gonna let me attack. There we go. Ow! 
Wait, how am I supposed to get? How am I supposed to hurt him? So I'm not causing any damage. Need. Enough. We could fight each other until the mountains wear away, but that will aid nothing. Uh, let me pass. My sister and I were chosen to protect our kind. So long as our houses stood, the Fae would never pass from this world. I in pride, and she in valor. We never imagined that our houses could crumble beneath our feet. Mortals led to the collapse of my sister's house, but with Gadflo's help, they shall not have mine. He may taint pride with his Prismere and his obscene god, but it will keep us eternal. Gadflo is my enemy, not pride. I cannot yield. But if your true intent is to stop Gadflo, then perhaps there is a way my house and my honor could remain pure. If you would promise to spare the House of Pride, then we could put aside our powers and have an honest battle. Win, and your army may pass. Agreed, but you go first. If this is the only way to secure a chance for my house's untainted survival, then so be it. If you should win, then destroy the Tuatha in my house. <coughs> For which night Mirna, yeah, I'll do that. We can be truly free. Yep. Oh God, he does a lot of damage. Oh crap! No! Don't you kill me, sir. I'll fail. <laughs> like with, with with this mode, it's so easy to kick some butt. I love it. I love it. <laughs> awesome. I'm sorry, I speed this way, man. Uh, junk. Night staff. Ew, junk. Hood. Ooh, dang it. Junk. Junk. 